This program should only be used with the permission of your medical doctor and does not replace any medical treatment you are undergoing. It may be used as often as you like because your hypnosis is a totally natural state and carries no side effects. However, having said that, please do not listen to this MP3 whilst driving or operating machinery. If you follow my simple instructions, no power on earth can keep you from being hypnotized if you want to. So if you are ready to experience hypnosis, you need to get as comfortable as possible in a place where you will not be disturbed. Now with your permission, please make a fist. Make it as tight as you can, even tighter. Now relax that hand, let it hang limply, loosely and totally relaxed, till it is like a wet dishcloth. That is how relaxed you must allow yourself to become, both physically and mentally, to experience the full effects of hypnosis. Take a deep breath and as you let it out, allow your whole body to become like that wet dishcloth, limp, loose and relaxed. Now picture, visualize and imagine in your mind's eye, yourself sitting where you are as another person in the same room would see you. Picture, visualize or imagine that image of yourself relaxing every muscle in their body. Now picture that image you have of yourself relaxing their eyes even more. Picture, visualize and imagine them relaxing their eyes so much that now when they try to open their eyes they are so relaxed their eyes don't want to open. See them trying to open their eyes and the more they try, the more their eyes are totally, totally relaxed. I'd like you to take your attention out to your own eyelids and the area around your eyes. You can relax your eyelids so much that they just won't work. Notice the increasing reluctance in your eyes to open as you let your eyelids get heavier and heavier. When you have relaxed them to the point where they just don't care to work, hold on to this relaxation when you are sure that you have relaxed them to a point where they just don't care to work, test them and you'll find that they don't, just don't care to open. Good. Stop testing and go relax even deeper. When you tested them, you probably found that there was movement in your face, that your eyebrows came up but your eyes didn't care to open. Because you were holding on to their relaxation, they closed down even tighter. It's easy to do. This is the tiniest muscle group in your body and it's a wonderful experience to realize just how much control you have over them. Now with a deep breath, send that feeling of relaxation down through your body from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. That's right. Now take a few moments to focus on the top of your head. Notice how it feels and what sensations you have. Allow your attention to drift down your, to your neck. Notice how a little bit more relaxation can drift in with each breath and how the muscles can soften as you allow your attention to flow through each part of your body and as you now focus on the tops of your arms. And I wonder which arm the relaxation will spread down first, the right arm or the left arm. And as that relaxation continues to flow down the arms, you can notice how each breath draws in something new and expels what your mind and body doesn't need. As you focus on those hands, focusing on what they are resting on, noticing which hand is the heaviest and which is the lightest, being aware of different sensations and feelings as you allow the wave of relaxation to spread down your chest towards your stomach like a healing light cleansing your mind and body, filling your heart and lungs, helping that healing light to spread around your whole body and mind as that relaxation flows down into your stomach. That's right, relaxing deeper and deeper and more fully as a body while the mind becomes comfortably focused as you allow your attention to drift down into the legs and I wonder which leg the relaxation will spread fastest into. And as that relaxation drifts all the way down into the feet, I wonder, and you can be curious, how the mind will follow once the body is fully relaxed. 
And now as you begin to get a sense of entering into your mind and flowing gently around the body checking that each muscle is comfortably relaxed, have a sense of drifting through the head, down into the shoulders and down into the neck. And now as I remain quiet for a few moments, you can take as long as you need to drift through the body, fill in the body with a healing light. And when I start talking again, you will have finished, and you can get a sense of being in the most wonderfully comfortable place. As you drift through the body, now. That's right. Finding yourself a comfortable place, feeling so comfortable, as you now have a sense of wanting to drift off deeply asleep into a dream and have a sense of closing your eyes while you become absorbed in that dream and from now on the deeper you go the better you will feel and the better you feel the deeper you will go let every breath every heartbeat and every word that I speak take you deeper and deeper and deeper and you will find every suggestion I will make will become a sign and a seal for you to change any habits you want to. For others that will be more appealing and satisfying to you. All you need to do is follow my instructions exactly and let whatever happens happen. Don't make anything happen. Just let whatever happens happen and you will have a great time. And just continuing to drift deeper and deeper down now and so very calm, peaceful and so very very relaxed in body, mind and spirit and as you drift down deeper and deeper you are realizing how many of us experience sensations that we would regard as unpleasant such as pain, discomfort, tension, stress or strain or anxiety and as you enter the special state of deep, comfortable relaxation, you already learned some methods of dealing with these sensations, one of which is just breathing deeply and removing all the stress and tension from your mind and body. And you are using this technique now and totally and effectively dealing with any unwanted sensations or discomfort you may be experiencing. Now use your imagination and visualize your discomfort as the shape of any object you wish to choose. You can visualize it as a football, a balloon, a basketball, a rock, an animal or anything you like. Now you have the ability to make this object that you have created larger or smaller and to do with anything with it that you wish. First of all, Let's get that image vivid in your mind. Experience the texture, the size and the color. Make it clear. Now once you have visualized the object and you have it clearly in your mind, make that object larger. Make the object larger and as you make the object larger, also feel your pain increase just a little bit but not enough to harm you. Now make that object smaller. Back to where it was initially. And notice how the pain subsides again. Now it makes sense that if you can make the object and the pain larger, then the exact opposite should also be true. When you make the object smaller, feel that pain dissipate. In fact, once you feel the pain start to dissipate, let all the air out that object and collapse it. You could even bust the object or you could just let it go and let it deflate as it flies out of way out of sight. Like a balloon that you've just let go of the end. And as it floats away, so will the pain. Understand the concept. If you can make the pain more, you can make the pain less. And that's why we demonstrate this by increasing the pain slightly before we 
decrease it. Some people may not have the belief that they control the pain by making it go away. However, most of us have the belief that we can make it stronger and bigger. And if you can make it one way, you can also make it the other. It's important to realize that you not only have the ability to lessen the pain, but if you can lessen that, you can make it go away completely. Maybe you want to do that exercise again while I stay quiet. Take your object, feel its texture, its color, notice everything is to notice about it, attach it to your discomfort, make it bigger, feel the pain get bigger, and the discomfort get worse, and now let it get smaller, let it deflate and with it the discomfort that you experience, and let it float away with your discomfort attached to it. That's right. And now as you gradually find your way back out of trance, you can take all the time you need to ensure all the work is completed fully and honestly, and only drift back out of trance at the rate and speed that all of the reprogramming updates. And when you have found your way back fully, all necessary changes will have happened on an instinctive level and allow you to open your eyes and come back to the room. Now was that not a wonderful relaxed state? You do feel good. You do feel wonderful. You do feel fine. And this good feeling of self-confidence, relaxation and ambition will be with you all the time. Every day will be better and better and you will be better and better. Bring out your full potential that God has given all life.